Well, what's going on everyone? RC84 here, like always. Thanks for watching. And here in the RC room on the RC workstation is a new RC that I just got, the Tamiya Konghead 6x6. This is a 118th scale ready to control off-road vehicle, and this thing looks pretty bad, my friends. I really like it. This has the new G601 chassis, and i uh, give you a little preview of that chassis. As you see right here, it has all these different gears that powers this vehicle the front differential the center differential and the rear differential on this thing it's pretty bad look at this monster wheels it has on it so uh, let's go ahead and uh, look at some of the sides here of the of the box uh, this right here shows you the optional parts, the hopped up parts that you can get, uh, shocks, uh, you know, dog bones, uh, some other stuff. Uh, now this is a build kit, so I have to add the controller, the batteries, the ESC, and the servo as well. So uh, yeah, but I have all that, as you can see over there is all my parts right there. So I do have the ESC and all that for that. Uh, let's take a look at the bottom here. And as you see guys, this thing is still in the plastic. I have not took it out because I wanted to do a video with me taking it out of the plastic. So let's give you guys a preview on the side here, the G601 chassis, which talks about the chassis and everything. Uh, there's the gear setup again. And uh, it says it can take on 40 degrees incline, which we'll test that out. Here's what the chassis looks like, as you can guys see that. The six monster wheels on there. Uh, the servo is right there. Uh, it actually has the motor on this side right here, and yeah. Now this does have a capability of doing four wheel steering if you want to, which is included in the kit, I believe. So uh, let me set up the uh, tripod, and we'll get this thing open and take a look inside of it and see what's all in there. So hang with me guys. All right, so let's go ahead and get this out of the wrapper here. Take a little knife and cut out the uh, plastic here so we can get this thing off to here and look at it more. All right. Uh, the joys of unwrapping a new RC, especially for me, which comes very rare that I get a new RC and uh, especially a kit build. Huh. Oh, yeah, there's that plastic off of there. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look inside and see what we got or what I got myself into because this is going to be the next project build here on the channel. Uh, uh, All right, so put the box to the side. As you guys can see, here it is all nice and packaged up. A lot of bags here. Uh, so let's go through some of the stuff and actually talk about what's all in the kit here. Right? So first off, we got the chrome plated uh, accessory items, the air breathers, uh, the smoke stacks that comes with it. Nice. Uh, here's the main part, guys, the chassis. The G601 chassis, you can see, pretty awesome. Uh, it's a long chassis, that's where all the gears go. Uh, it seals up as well, so it keeps the dirt and dust and all that out of there. Uh, we got our motor motor mount that goes there, our motor goes in there. So uh, yeah, so we'll put that to the side. Uh, we got some more parts here. Now I don't know what everything is. I haven't really gone through the kit yet, but um, looks like we got their steering knuckles, uh, server savers, uh, yeah, some other parts there. Got another one with the same stuff in there as well. Uh, let's see, uh, this right here, uh, I'm not really exactly 100% sure on it. But like I said, I will find out once I read the instructions on it. Uh, let's see, more parts. This looks like to be, looks like the bumpers, uh, some, the shock mounts and stuff like that as well. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> All right, here's another bag. Uh, looks like the same stuff. The body mounts as well is in here. Uh, yeah, some more, <laughs> more stuff. All right, uh, we got the tires here, which is a nice deep dish, uh, like monster truck tires or rims. Actually, I'm sorry. Got uh, plastic cores, plastic uh, that chrome plated stuff. Not bad. I really like that. Let's put that to the side over here. Ah. 
Here's the monster tires, my friends. Uh, let's see if I can get a better. Ah, let's see. Oh, okay, all right. So let's go ahead and open up one of these and just see the size of these tires. Now, apparently, these are the same tires that are on the uh, the lunchbox one. All traction utility. So yeah, look at that. Nice. It's nice and soft as well. Um, yeah. Hope the lighting is great here. <laughs> But nice, nice thick little uh, like monster truck tires to it. I wonder how these will do in the mud. I don't really see them being too good at you know on the rocks and stuff. But uh, who knows? They might actually do pretty good as a rock crawler. Is what I've seen on videos. It looks like to be pretty good. All right, so that's the tires. And of course, there's one bag, two bags, and three bags because this is. A six-wheel drive truck with independent suspension. Uh, all the bells and whistles. Now I gotta go to death into the uh, into it all, guys. Uh, you all will link the information down below where you can actually get it uh, and all the other information that you will want to need or need to know about this vehicle. So let's take a look at the truck, my friends. The body. This is pretty awesome. Look at this body right here. Super scout and detailed. I really like that. I'm trying to think what year model this truck would be. I think it looks like mostly like a 73 type um, truck. Uh, I can't remember. I, 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 I've seen it before, but I can't remember. So uh, it looks like we got some pre drilled holes for the smokestack, or not smokestack, that's actually the air, the, uh, air breathers go there. Uh, Pretty much everything is knotted out where you're supposed to put the, uh, you know, the accessory items, the body mount holders, uh, and it's a, uh, I think a, it's a uh, poly, uh, poly carbonated body, something like that. <laughs> but, uh, feels pretty durable, pretty strong. Uh, looks pretty awesome, guys. I really like that. So uh, let's set that to the side. Now here is the main gear opponents guys and this bag right here is all the gears here let's take a look at them uh, if I can get it open look at the gears here is the uh, differential gears which kind of reminds me of the differential gears that was in the Unimog 425 and in the Tamiya uh, M10 25 Hummer there you go guys if you can see that hopefully the camera can focus so that's where uh, the inside of the differentials will go. If yeah, yeah, there go right there. <laughs> uh, so yeah. So there you go. So that's all the gears that we have to put in this vehicle. Uh, get it run. Uh, oh, the parts bag. Even says an RC parts bag. <laughs> we got uh, our motor. Uh, the, our spider gears, the shocks. Now uh, the shocks on this vehicle is uh, damper shocks, it's not oil shocks, uh, which you can upgrade to oil shocks if you want to. Um, but I think I'm just really gonna build it as it is from the kit. Um, so let's take a look at all this stuff. Well, they'll fill in there. Uh, we got our cam motor here, which is like a 540 series motor. We're kind of normal you know motor that will be in a lot of of uh of the rc vehicles um like the crawlers and stuff like that it's got the leads on it already soldered on there which is nice uh we've got the parts bag here uh part c bag this has the shocks uh we got some uh double-sided tapes and zip ties uh, a lot of good little stuff in there all right so uh we got some uh screws and bolts and stuff. We'll find out what that all is. Uh, I've got some more stuff. Uh, yeah, shop mount holders. Um, yeah, well, steering holders. A lot of stuff, guys. I just, I hadn't really seen the instructions well enough to know. Uh, here we got our, our spider gears, some screws, uh, some grease, all the different stuff. That's parts A bag. <laughs> all right. Uh, more parts, a lot of parts in this thing. Parts B, uh, screws, uh, yeah, <laughs> screws and dog bones. Um, 
yeah, a lot of screws and rubber gaskets and stuff like that. Uh, we got another plate here, which uh, I know that's the battery uh, tray holder, which uh, actually it's all piled up there. The, uh, the battery is, uh, tray is built onto the chassis, so this is the top of it. Uh, like we got some other stuff, but I, you know, like I said, I had not gone through the instructions yet to actually know. Uh, so we have our, our bearings, or bushings that they call them. These are plastic ones. There's some brass ones in here too for the more mechanical parts. Now I have read up and watched videos saying that you know, one of the things that you want to upgrade on this kit is the uh, bearings. You want to put actually bearings and not these plastic ones. They say they, you know, they do all right. They just take a little bit more maintenance-wise. Uh, so they said, like, go ahead and put the bearings in there, uh, actual real bearings in there. Which I priced it out. It's like thirty dollars for the kit uh, if they wanted to do that. So, yeah. Uh, so we got some more gears here, and uh, we'll find out what those are. <laughs> all right. Now. I'll, uh, now we got the instructions down here. Let's see. Uh, what's this right here? Looks like a bunch of gibberish to me. Uh, yeah, just a lot of you know, stuff. It's just important information that concerns this kit. And just list off a bunch of things. <laughs> Not going to go through that. Uh, we got instructions here for the body shell. What you need to do. Now one thing about Tamai is that they they, you know, when they do their instructions, they do really good detail and uh, explain where everything needs to go, paint-wise, uh, all that stuff. Look at that. It's pretty awesome. So, uh, that shows you how to put the, uh, the accessories together and all that good stuff. So, uh, yeah, so definitely we need to save that. Let me put this aside. Uh, we already said we already went through that, so we'll stick that to the side. Here is the actual manual for the uh, for the uh, vehicle, and as you see here, everything is pretty much listed out where it needs to go at, you know, screw wise, what screws you need, what uh, pinions, what uh, <laughs> what grease, where where to put the grease at, how to put the chassis together, all that good stuff that I would need to know. Now, uh, there's two different versions of the cone head. There's the semi, and there's the like a bus. A school bus one and I technically didn't really like the school bus one so I went with the semi one because it looks awesome so uh, and here is the dig cal stickers now uh, these are not pre-cut you actually have to cut these out with a pair of sharp scissors and stuff like that not to hurt yourself but uh, really cool artwork that's one of the things about Tamai is that they have really cool artwork and stickers with their vehicles so as you see Kong head six by six and you got this little animated dude uh, looks pretty cool and everything uh, some carbon fiber strips um, yeah we got a lot of things on here so uh, there you go guys that is the Kong head yeah a lot of stuff my friends <laughs> a lot of stuff so guys, that is the Kong Head 6x6 from Tamiya or Tamiya, ever how you pronounce it. Some people say Tamiya, some people say Tamiya. I'm saying Tamiya because it just sounds just right to me, okay? <laughs> but that's the kit, guys. This is going to be my next project build here on the channel, so hopefully y'all stay tuned on this build because it's going to be a pretty epic build. Now, I have thought about my, uh, my theme or my paint theme that I'm going to go with. On this body now with this being a semi body it reminded me of the movie called maximum overdrive if you've ever seen that movie it is a great movie it came out in 1986 it was made in my hometown of Leland North Carolina uh, which was pretty one of the biggest films that's made here uh, but if you've never seen it guys definitely look for it it is an awesome movie it's about uh, this comet that flies by the earth and makes this green glow around it and it brings all machines to life like semi trucks and uh, you know, all types of machinery and stuff like that it's just going haywire and start killing people uh, random killing <laughs> but it's a great movie guys look it up it's called Maximum Overdrive I'll include a link down in the description box so you can uh, you know you find that movie 
Uh, you might can find it here on YouTube. I don't really know. You can find it on you know, basically anywhere. DVD. It's uh, it's actually produced by or directed by Stephen King. So if you guys know Stephen King, you know his movies are really really good. And uh, Maximum Overdrive is really really good. And so that's going to be my theme. So I'm going to use this truck here, which looks like the one in the Maximum Overdrive that has the green goblin head on it. Or they call it the uh, yeah the Green Goblin. Uh, it was like toys, toys something. I can't re exactly remember, but uh, I think I can't. Yeah, toy something. But uh, it was an awesome truck. Uh, it was like the flat black chrome. Had this nice little skull head. Uh, not skull head, but goblin head on it, and it looked pretty awesome and that's what I'm going to do. I actually found the goblin head that I can use for uh, the vehicle so that's going to be awesome to put on here so I did find that. It took a little time to find it but I did find it and uh, so I got that on the way and uh, that's going to be my theme so it's going to be the maximum overdrive green goblin edition so I'll come up with a nor fancy your name for it guys <laughs> yeah well guys I hope that you enjoyed the video if you did cl uh, click that like button uh, if you got any comments questions comment down below and also guys check out the channel's Facebook page for pictures of this uh, this build um, I'm gonna try to do the video uh, try to film as much as I can on this video or on this vehicle <laughs> to uh, you cover it from from start to finish guys so uh Hopefully you join on with this uh, build and uh, as I put it all together. So hopefully everything will run smoothly. Hopefully, you know. But uh, yeah. Alright guys. So again, thanks for watching and hey, come on back to the channel guys because I'm going to be putting out the videos. I'm going to try to put out a specific date that I'm going to try to do these videos but, you know, between my work schedule and my business stuff that I do. It's kind of hard to get out and do some RCs or builds and stuff but I'm going to do it, guys. So, uh, yeah. All right, guys. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next upcoming video. I'm going to break out of here, put this thing all back together, and all that good stuff. All right. So, <laughs> again, see you guys later.